Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel. This week we're going to be doing this look here which was inspired by the most wonderful palette called It's Freaking Bats. This was gifted to me as you'll know if you saw my last video by the absolutely gorgeous fantastic Pennsylvanian elder goth Nightmare Bliss. Mare sent me this and some other things which you'll see if you look at the previous video and it's this palette the Shroud Cosmetics and Batty Bean collab that I will be using today to create this look. Um, there's nine colours in here and I will be using one, two, three, four, five, six. So not bad I think. If you have got this palette, then stop the video, get it out, and put your makeup alongside me, and we'll do it together. Great. So, stand by. Here we go. So here we are with the base all on and one eye done in preparation to show you how to do this look. As I mentioned, it's the It's Freaking Bats palette which is a collab between Shroud Cosmetics and a YouTuber called Batty Bean or Betty Jean, depending on um, what you're going to call her. She has collabed with them on this palette. It was not that recently, but it's such an amazing palette and the colours are so gorgeous and everything about it is lovely and I'm going to be showing you the colours as we go along in inserts but the first thing to tell you is that this absolutely marvellous lipstick that I'm wearing is by Coloured Rain and it's called Lucky Charm. It's a sort of grungy, greeny, almost chartreuse sort of colour um, I like it very much. It's like nothing else that I've ever worn and I'm extraordinarily happy with it, especially because it goes with this palette so well. Anywho, um, the first colour we're going to go with is a colour called Derry and obviously this is the name of the town in the film uh, at slash book by Stephen King called It. And this is, an, I have primed my eyelid, by the way, with, um, what's it called? Revolution Ultimate Eye Base. So we're just going to take it maybe halfway across, but definitely high enough so that you can see it when you've got your eye open. So what I might do is lift this up this mirror up slightly higher I mean I don't want I don't want the mirror to show but I do want it to be at a level that I can use it and not have to go like this the whole time right so where was I oh yes Derry it's like a sort of aubergine incredibly dark plum, uh, purpley brown, all those sorts of colours all mixed into one and I think it's a colour that I'm going to come back to again and again to start off looks. Let's just see if we can get it a bit like the other side. There we go. And to start blowing out this colour I'm using a very floppy flippy floppy brush and I'm going into the colour Trapper T-R-A-P-A -A, and I'm just going around the edge with this and bringing it all the way into my nose and obviously it'll, it'll blow up there as well so 
this is a lovely colour as well and this is a sort of what would you call this can't really call it a yellow and it's not really a mustard it's sort of something in between a green and a yellow mustard so I'm taking it along the lower lash line as well and bringing it right out to the side a tiny tiny bit of fallout on my nose and a brush hair not a hair off me but a hair off the brush not a hair of the dog but a hair of the brush yes so we're going to be bringing this round like this and as I said at the beginning this palette was sent to me gifted to me given to me by the most generous and lovely elder goth in all of American Pennsylvania which is Nightmare Bliss and Mare has sent me the this palette and if you look at my previous video you'll see everything else that she sent me as well and I am a very lucky ghoul I'm just going back in with a fluffy brush and a bit of Derry just to try and meld it into the same shape like this so that when we do the cut crease we've got something to cut into and make sure we've got enough under here as well you can sort of measure things by eyelashes or folds of skin if you're old enough but I know this was a terrifically popular palette when it came out and so I'm hoping that some of you actually have it and if you have that you'd like to <coughs> join in with me and and do this look as we go along right um also in this palette is a color called adams which obviously is after the adams family and i'm just gonna take the tiniest amount and try and bring it down here just a hint just to give a little bit more interest when we go in um, and do the cut crease so let's just make sure that this comes down far enough there we go and tiniest this is the great thing about this palette the colors are so unusual I mean this Adams color it's you look at it and you think it's teal and then you look at it in a different light and you say no it's green and the mattes that they've got going on here are just terrific absolutely terrific I'm just going back in with a little tiny bit more dairy like that and then I'm going to get my revolution cut crease canvas and start cutting the crease so as you can see this is a very quick look to do because I I just thought well a lot of people might have this palette and they don't want to spend like hours and hours practicing a look that they might not actually wear every day so I thought I'll just do something fairly simple and straightforward um, with as you know not as few colors as possible but with a few colors and then people can um, copy it if you want to so that's oh, Gordon Bennett that's bloody cut grease canvas plodged onto my lovely dress 
well that's going to have to go in the wash isn't it this dress though I know it's got lovely bats and everything on it which you can see um, but it was such a deal I think um, in one of my previous um, videos I talked about what an absolute steal it was last season in the sale at Collective but here we go with the um, shimmer nice flat brush I'm not using any extra product I'm just getting the color handbook and basically packing it on and because it's very soft and very workable there we go you can basically load up your brush with it and Bob's your uncle there so I'll just take it across the bottom there but what we will also do is on the other side of the brush because I have enough brushes to wash as it is we're going to use the colour Sam oh I forgot to say handbook obviously a handbook for the recently deceased from Beetlejuice and Sam which I'm just about to put in this corner here and you can see it's a slightly brighter sort of colour um, is a little character from a film called Trick or Treat which I haven't actually seen but um, everyone seems to rave about so I'm sure it must be jolly good <clears throat> now I'm just going to go back in with a little bit of Adams along the bottom just to try and equal it up and the other thing that I have used is where's it gone a very very tiny brush to put some of the shimmer called grim under here this is a gorgeous um, shimmery teal and what I will do is using my elf intense ink eyeliner just give myself a guide as to where the eyeliner is going to go so stand by well that didn't go very well but it's like that when you've got um, hooded eyes and one is slightly more hooded than the other it really is difficult to get them exactly the same but here comes the essence liquid ink so difficult isn't it trying to get these pointy shapes just right and of course I haven't but I'm hoping that you'll let me off right so what I then did was wait for it to dry slightly and go back in with this teeny tiny brush and a little bit more grim and just try and stamp it on top of the black eyeliner what I must do is get there we go what I must do is get some gel liner and practice doing eyeliner with gel liner because you can use um, gel liners as a base for shimmers and glitters and things apparently much more easily than just ordinary liquid liner let's see if I can get this side to look a little bit the same no I don't think it wants to right so I'm just going to go back round and just blend this edge a touch more turn the mirror there we go that's reasonably similar in a general sort of reasonable sort of way I'll just take a tiny tiny bit more of this gorgeous trapper color and wudge it out to the side technical term here 
because it really is so grungy and so lovely and then I will put some Essence Lash Princess on I will put my other lash on and again these utterly fabulous lashes because <laughs> I just love these they're from House of Boo and I recommend them absolutely without reservation whatsoever they're gorgeous this they're, they're huge and obviously they're um, vegan so let me do that and we'll come back and round up and sign off so here's the final look I hope you have enjoyed this video I hope that a nice simple two or three color look is something you you're gonna have a go at um, a few people have been saying in the comments how oh I'm not very good at makeup and that sort of thing but I'm sorry but I will not hold with that type of talk we are all as good as we need to be and if we don't think we are as good as we need to be then all you have to do is just practice 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 some of you know some of you don't know that it's taken me quite a long time to get to where I am now um, I used to throw my makeup on with a shovel and ever since I've learned that there is such a thing called blending I've spent quite a number of hours practicing so it's something that you just have to do until one day you think you know what I'm looking back at a picture from a year ago and I like what I'm doing today a lot more and that's all there is to it okay so please like this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and do so right this minute if you would like to drop me a Kofi as some wonderful wonderful people already have and they know who they are then please go right ahead and in the meantime before I see you again make sure to look after all your animals your gardens your window boxes the park where you walk just make sure that the natural world near you is looked after and loved and as always my friends please don't forget to stay strange bye for now everybody and i will see you next time